This is gonna be awesome. Tracy's gonna recreate what she has to go through when she does a fashion show. She's gonna feed Melissa looks. Melissa's gonna have to create looks on the spot. They're due today. Today. She's gonna make some changes in the process because that's what happens, correct? Reality. Real life situation. How many changes do you usually have to do in the moment, Trace? We're gonna be nicer to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot. There's a lot of changes, and sometimes it's the, the night before. Yeah. Yeah. So things happen. They happen quick. We encourage you guys to play along in this challenge. See if you can also create these looks. See if you can deal with the changes that Tracy's going to bring to Melissa. And in the end, share your looks. We'd love to see them. I'm excited for this. We're going to get started on this challenge right now. I think I got creative. Hi, Melissa. We are needing creative for our upcoming event. The look is tropical meets streetwear. The mood is vibrant, bold with a soft undertone. Vibe is pushing you out of your fashion comfort zone, but still feeling like yourself. We are needing creative for today, and we are wanting a couple different looks to pick from since there will be one outfit change. Of course. <laughs> Total count of models is 75, and all will have two looks. Thank you. All right. I am doing the Fashion Week Challenge. I was given some photos, and I had a few minutes to call out what colors I wanted and find the colors I wanted to try to get ready to create. So, I have some ideas in my head. I just want to show you all the products that I gathered from looking at those photos. And I kind of grabbed a lot of colors. And the reason being is I know I can mix colors to make some of the colors in there and kind of colors that were directly off the palette. So that's kind of how you do it, or how I do it anyway. So I have a lot. If I'm custom mixing, I have to get my color right and maybe one color will work just by itself. So I needed options. This is what I'll be working on my little stands. So they're all runway nails. So I'm working on our tips. Okay. I'll be using our, some of these. I don't know how many. I may cut some of them for the design I want. Who knows? We'll see. I make up my mind kind of as I go, as I go, I kind of get an idea. And then as I go, it sometimes changes. So I'll work with these. I will also work with our micro detailer striping brush and I'll have a gel brush if I need to clean up something. And don't forget the spatula and the tile for my custom mixing. So let's get started. So the first one I'm gonna do is beige. Beige 101. So you don't prep the nails, you just go straight into it. They're, um, they're press-ons for show, okay? So they do not peel off. They wear, wear amazing. This is exactly what we do. Now I'm going into canvas. I might need two coats of canvas. We'll see. Canvas is a beautiful color. It's a white base with a gold glow to it. And the beige 101 is a straight up beige with no pink in it at all. It's just pretty much just beige. So I figured these would make a great background. I'm gonna nip off my tip right here. Probably should have filed it off, but that's okay. Nip them all off real fast. Okay, so I'm gonna go under the light for 30 seconds. Now I went 30 seconds because it was a manicure color. If it was go time, I would have to go through the full minute. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with one more coat, canvas. Alrighty, beige 102. You notice how I'm painting forward and backwards? This is how you paint these tips. If you go like this, it's all gonna come back here. So you wanna go the opposite way so it's really clean all the way around. I'm gonna go 30 seconds under the light. What's funny, during this, you get all the emotions, even though it's just a challenge, you get the same emotions that you get and um, super highs and super low and stress that you get during your fashion week. It's really, really high intensity, really high pace. You really have to just pull it off. 
But like I said, sometimes it's a roller coaster, but at the end, it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is mix some colors. I'm gonna see which green will work, okay? I'm gonna mix two. I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but I'm kind of going for a certain color green that's in the palette. So I'm just gonna kind of mix a little to see what I'm gonna do. Doesn't mean I'm gonna use it. This is what we do. Okay, let's do Sonic in Orbit. So pretty much 85% of what's in our nails are pretty much custom mix. We get very lucky if we could go straight into a color and sometimes we're able to, but to get that hue that they're wanting or that little tad bit of a color, it does require custom mixing a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make one other color because I'm gonna make like a kind of like a more till. So I'm gonna add one more color, Orbit, okay? So you're gonna see the original thing I showed you I'm using, sometimes I pull other colors in. Okay, so let's just see what we have here. I'm gonna move these aside. Let's mix this. Okay, it, that till needs a little more warmth in it. I'm gonna add a little bit of green to it, a tad bit of green. Let's see what this does. Oh yeah. So now it's getting to that till with a little bit of green. And I'm only mixing a little bit of it right now because I'm deciding on my color I want. Okay, I think I could go a tad bit brighter. So let's do a little bit of white. And then once you get the color, you'll make sure you have enough of it mixed. Okay, let's mix this one. I kind of like that, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, I really like this. So this is, what color is that? Sonic and, um, I'm put, put them up so you could see them. Got Sonic and Giant together. This color I will be using because this is directly in the palette. Yay, score with that one. This one I still need to work on, but I kind of want to see this color too. Hmm, I think I'm going to mix these two together. Okay, there's one of my colors. Now I need to figure out how to make this more vibrant. I'm going to mix all my gels together. So it'll be a little more. So make it a little brighter. And then a tad bit of this right here of Sonic. Okay, let's see what I did. Okay, almost there. It's much better. I wonder if I add a tad bit of denim what that will do. Let me see what it looks like real quick. Just a tad, just a tad. Might take it to that level. Sometimes I get it right away and other times, hey, that actually helped, I like it. All right. Okay, those two colors. So one of my inspirations right now is actually the colors on birds, like a parrot. So I'm gonna kind of make it neutral, but edgy. <laughs> just like they're saying. So we'll use those two colors. Okay, now that I got those colors, I wonder if I wanna fade in. Let me make a yellow, okay? I wanna make a accented yellow. I may combine that with a little bit of shimmer. We'll see as we go. Just making room for my yellow. Let's see if I wanna use solar by itself. I actually really like this. I might tone it down a little. Let's tone it down just a tad bit just to see what it comes out like. So I'll add a little white to this. And you're gonna wipe this off. So you're always in motion just playing with it. It's, it's super fun trying to figure it out. It's um, once you find it, then you gotta figure out your design, right? You have it in your head, but you're, you're gonna play with it and see how it comes out. Yeah, I, I really like that. Okay, so let's start creating these. I didn't make my other color yet. I'm gonna work on one so far. So I'm gonna take 
this side of the brush. Okay, I'm gonna cut this brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of cut into this. I'm gonna hold it, kind of cut into it because I want to gouge some out. I kind of want to make a, a feather effect. So let's see what this does. Okay, it's starting to do it. So I'll come in and cut at it. Now I could use this brush later in my career too. So yes, sometimes you have to make brushes out of something that's brand new to kind of get the effect that you're wanting. And I'll kind of trim it up here. Kind of looks organic right there. Let me do a little bit more in one spot. You could see how they're starting to come out. So I kind of want a feather effect. Okay, we'll try that. And if I need to cut more, I'll cut more. Okay, this is base gel. I kind of just want to get gel in my brush because it's easier when you start using gel if it has gel. So I just grabbed base. You could use even a top coat, whatever. I kind of like to put base in because it stays in pretty well. Pretty much going to wipe it out, but it kind of, see how it kind of forms and I could kind of do what I want with it. Okay, so let's see if my idea is going to work right now. So first one, we'll go into green. I like it. Okay, then, because I want to move fast, I need to clean my brush fast, or you need to have multiple brushes. And if I was going to make 75 sets of the same one, I would have multiple brushes for each color, so it'll go a lot faster then. Okay, but I wouldn't buy those right away until they picked their design. Or you could always use them later on something else. Okay, so I'll kind of get this out again. I kind of want it messy. Now I'm going to go into my teal. Okay. I'm going to flash set this for about 15 seconds. Okay, I think I want this a little more vibrant, so I'm going to try something real fast. I'm going to take my Sonic and my Orbit. I'm going to start with this color first and kind of spray this out this and then i'm going to go into this okay now i'm going to oh yeah i like that see how it kind of made it come out more so see how you're constantly changing your mind <laughs> you're adding it's just part of it it's super fun and cool to do okay so i really like that i think i'm going to do that with some of the green let me see, evergreen might be too dark, but I'm gonna try something. And then I'm gonna put a little bit, what does giant look like? Oh, actually, I kinda like that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of giant. I'm just gonna try this giant, a little bit of evergreen, and I have this color here too. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. All right, there is a little bit of more green in there. Okay, I kind of like that combo there. Let's clean this off with the top coat. Once I get it down and I decide what I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna be doing all this. I'm just kind of creating my background right now and kind of creating the look I'm wanting to create in here. So I'll get a little bit of the color, a little here and there, kind of accent it, okay. Get a little bit of the teal, Let's kind of accent this. I like that it's a little more vibrant now. So now I'm gonna flash set it, 15 seconds. Now I'm gonna go into my, I think this is straight solar. Kind of blend it in with some of these, okay. So I want to make that a little more brighter. I wonder if I should use a little bit of sunshine. You know what I think I will? I'll pick it up. 
anywhere I put yellow, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Let me get my detailer. Detail it in here. Okay. Flash this. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Fizz by itself and overdrive. So white and black. Okay, so I'm going to paint my white. in the cool thing about working on tips is you can move it however you want backwards forward whatever you think Let's flash up this for 15 seconds I decided that I was going to pull out one of these little um, little dotting tools so I'm gonna make an eyeball. Okay, let's go in with the white. Okay, I'm gonna flash that at 30 seconds. So now I need a little black dot in the middle of that. Go ahead and flash that that about 15 because I didn't put a lot. Okay, it kind of does look like an eyeball. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is kind of do some black lines around it. It's gonna come in here. So it's not really straight, I'm kind of jaggeding them. Kind of just creating the pattern on a parrot's eye. Okay, that looks kind of cool. The cool thing about this, I could turn it every direction. Okay, that looks kind of cool. So, okay, that's looking cool. So really the part of the parrot I want is the eye to kind of be defined. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I really don't want to see the lines a lot. I just kind of want it for a little bit of color. Hmm, kind of like that. So all I'm doing now, because I didn't get this color so like as bold as I wanted it, I'm gonna kind of come in and just do some kind of like feather look coming out. Okay, let me see a little bit of the orbit. So always when I'm figuring it out at first, it takes me a long time, but once I like it, it's kind of easier for the next one. But you know what happens sometimes? They end up calling us and changing it in the middle of our game. <laughs> so I'm not gonna hold my breath, that might happen. If it does, that's okay, that's part of the game. So I'm now gonna use a little bit of Giant. A little bit of Overdrive. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of my Solar. I think I just kinda wanna do some lines in here. Let's see if they show up. I think I need to do a little more overdrive right here. I feel like it could have a little bit through here. Let me just add a little bit more of this. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna cure that for about 30 seconds, then put a top coat on it, and I'm gonna start on my next one. I'm gonna use Ultimate Finish, so I don't have to wipe anything off. We use a lot of Ultimate Finish in our fashion shows, so. And it always looks a little better when the top coat goes on. There's a little bit of glitter back there. Okay, let me cure this for one full minute. Okay, I decided I'm gonna work on two at a time. I'm gonna work on the beige one and this other one because I'm gonna put similar colors in them. So I'm gonna use Hot Pink Manicure 101. Probably gonna use Fig. Maybe Orbit and Mega Jam mixed. Let's do that. I'm gonna make kind of like a purple. Yeah, that's a great color. That's exactly what's in the picture. Yay! Okay, then that could feed into a little bit more of Orbit with a little bit, maybe just a little bit of Make a Jam. So it kind of changed the blue a little to like a purple blue. I pulled out Milton. I didn't have that in my original colors, but I grabbed it because I think it'll go great. 
Then I'm gonna make like a little bit, a little bit of our hot pink in it. And a little bit kind of of yellow. I don't think I'm gonna use Milton on its own. So let's just get this and let's make this color add a little more yellow and then I'll add, I'll make the yellow next to it. Yeah, that's a great color, okay. And now I'm gonna add a tad, just a tad of this to it. It's gonna kind of make it have a little fire in it. Okay, I'm gonna put Mega Jam out by itself just a little, cause I need a little bit of warmth. Okay, the first one I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take a part of the sponge and I'm gonna put some white, some white. Okay, I'm gonna set that like about 15 seconds and I'm going to take off the rest of this white. Okay. Maybe I need that blue a little darker. I think I do, hold on. Let me put a little more here. I'll just add straight denim by itself. Then I'm going to go in to this purple. Okay, let's set this 15 seconds. Let's go into a little bit of, I'm gonna go straight pink right now. Okay, kinda flash set that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in my orange. Okay, I'm going to go into my dark color again. You know what, I might just put some here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Made it a little more intense. Let's go a little dark purple. Do like here. Okay, let's splash that thought. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my orange. I just wanna use a, kind of a sliver of it. You know what I wanna do instead of trying to do that? This is going to get cut. So I could have a corner of it. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with my orange. A little more here. And I'm gonna come in with my yellow. Well, let me get a little more yellow than that. I'm gonna kind of fade it a little, but try to keep it bold at a spot. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna come right here. Okay, let's fade it just a tad bit. When you're making it up out of your head, it's interesting how long it takes you, but I'll mess with it till I love it. Okay, I, I kind of like this. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. So I'm gonna do one coat of manicure top. It's an extra top coat I brought in because I kind of want to glitter press a little. So I'm gonna come through here. I'm gonna flash set it about 15 seconds. Kind of use some crush. Just a very little, I don't want to overpower it. It's 
So this is gonna give it kind of a dimension. Then let's do a little bit of sunshine, just a little. Okay, and right here I'm gonna add a little more of our jean, our denim, I'm calling it jean. It's called denim. Oh, I kinda like that. I'm wondering if I should add a little bit of gold through there, kinda like sand from a sunset. I think I will, I think I'll add a little. Or should I add, Hold on, I don't know which one. I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'm gonna pull them out and it'll inspire me. Resolution or shimmering sand. So maybe a little shimmering sand here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool because it's kind of sandy, beachy. And a little right here. Now I'm not overpowering with it. I'm just kind of getting it in there. Okay, let's cure this and I'll put a top coat on it. So let's cure it like about 15 seconds so it holds on to it. So I'm going into my ultimate finish, going to apply a nice top coat over the whole thing. Make sure it self levels over the glitter and make sure you get your sides. I tend to miss my side right here a lot so I have to move it. This one too. Look self leveled over everything. So cure it for one minute. Let's see, I got a text from Tracy. What? Just had a meeting with Creative. We have removed the following colors. Okay, so they removed a palette. My greens, kind of like my pinkish coral, like grays, gray whites. Okay, so my next design's out of the question. I have to figure something out. No worries, on to the next. Let's do this. So I have some new colors here that I pulled out. Miracle Mile, Horizon. I have these here because I'm just gonna use them anyways. Um, in the moment, we've had denim and we've had aquamarine out and we've had white, okay? So, okay, so I'm gonna get manicure base. Okay, let's try our first round. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put manicure base on here, on the whole nail, entire nail. We all get this brush right here, our little striper brush. And I'm gonna start with the water. So I'm gonna go into Now I'm just messing with the sky. Okay, there's a little bubbles in there, but that's okay. They won't stay in there. I will pop them before I cure it. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. Let's do some of this till into here. Blue. There's a fuzz. It's okay, it's all going into each other pretty well. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna kinda do this like this and let it fade off. So as I sit here, it's gonna kinda just fade on me and move. Pop all my bubbles I made going fast. Oh, I kind of, I love the way that looks right there. Okay, so I like the way this looks. I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna put one more coat of base real thin. Okay, I think I'm gonna put some white for like some cloud effect. Kinda looks cool, so I'm gonna cure that. Okay, I kinda like the way this looks. 
think what I'll do is I'll just start adding. I add foil, some foil in some of the, let me see. I'm just gonna take some out and see. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I'm just trying to get inspired here with what I'm gonna use next. You know what? I'm gonna use Resolution, not Sunshine. Okay, because that has like a fiery color to it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of this through it. See how you'll kind of see it. I kind of like this so far. Okay, now I'm wondering if I should put something through the waves. Maybe like a little bit of a, huh. Let's try to mix a color. Let's do, maybe I'll mix this color with some white. A little more white. So I want to make a third color for this so I could kind of vein it through the waves. Okay, I'm, I like that. Okay. Kind of make it look a little choppy. I don't want to overpower it. I just want a little bit of it. Okay, that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to set it for 15 seconds is plenty. I think that that's cool right there. I'm going to leave this. I don't really want to make it literal. I want it to just have a vibe. So let's go into our ultimate finish. And I have that one done. So let's cure that one full minute. You know when you start getting in the groove with this, is you start getting in the groove after you've done a few and then your brain starts brainstorming and going faster and picking new ideas until it crashes. <laughs> then you need to take a break and your creativity will come back to you kind of crazy. Okay, my next one, what I'm going to do is probably use overdrive. Let me get some of this. I'll probably use some clutch. I might add a little into clutch, some solar. So let me add this. And I'm gonna add some clutch. Make kind of a rusty color because this is in the palette. Oh yeah, I like that color. Okay, so let's go ahead and make, mix these. Yeah, that's a great brown. Maybe I might use some beige 101. So let's use these colors here. I'm gonna use it on clear. So I think what I'll do is Use, either use base or top. I'm gonna use top because the dispersion layer on top is not as much as base, so I'm gonna put top. Remember, this is on a tip. It works on a tip. If it was a person, you'd do base, right? And then top, but I'm showing you on press-ons. Okay, so I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to kind of paint some different, kind of like palm flowers or something. The funny thing is I'm painting black on something that is clear in a black background. You know, I'm gonna do more of like a, like how a um, little bush would be. This is completely, completely just random. Sometimes your randoms are the prettiest ones. Okay, I'm gonna flash this 15 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna come in with my micro detailer. Let me do brown. kind of tracing my black line. Okay, let's flash set this, 30 seconds. Let's see if I could paint with this manicure. Okay, manicure is a little more runny, so it might beat up a little, so you have to really wipe it. Ooh, but it's painting pretty good. So these are just kind of colors on the palette. So I think what I'm gonna do now, 
add a little bit more and then add maybe some resolution or some foil. And I'm gonna go back into my Beige 101. Kind of make a little more dominant color there with it. Go in my brown again. So let's set that for like 15 seconds. Okay, let's put cement finish down. This is just on a clear nail. I'm actually going to cure my last finish for 60 seconds. Then I'll take some of this gold that I had out. Okay, so I also pulled out some foil. However, we're out of um, foil transfer, the little solution for it we have. So I'm going to use protein bond. Protein bond does work. I, the adhesion works way better. The transfer foil adhesion works amazing because I could actually draw with it and it'll stay exactly where I want. Sometimes protein will work, sometimes they won't. If you're in a pinch, you could try it and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I did take it out and it has a non-tacky finish from my ultimate finish top coat. I'm going to take a 240 buffer and just buff on top of this real lightly. You don't have to be aggressive. All I'm doing is just kind of removing my shine, but it's acting as a barrier from my color to what I'm gonna put on top of it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my protein bond here and work really fast, okay? So I am going to go through here, go through here. I gotta kind of move fast because it dries fast and I just want it to be kind of tacky. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my little gel so it kind of doesn't dry kind of hard. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, let's see if it works. If it doesn't, plan B. It did! See, when in a pinch, you have to think of alternatives. Oh, it actually worked pretty good. I'm very happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my ultimate finish over the whole top again. All that dull will cancel out. And this color is actually on the palette, so yay! So it just kind of reminds me of like shrub or something like that on the beach or kind of tropical. I would have had green in it, but they took out the green, but that's okay. I actually really like this. Okay, so I'm gonna kiss for one full minute. Okay. Now, I really like this a lot. Remember I said my random ones that I'm just kind of going out there usually end up being my favorite and that's something I would totally wear. Um, okay, and it kind of goes with the color palette and everything. So this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some colors I hadn't used that's on the color palette. So I opened these, I kind of like this right here, this little fiery sunset thing going on. Um, I could put a little bit of Stu Milton, let's go ahead. I love shimmering sand. And I love champagne together. See how pretty they look. This one's yellow neon. Let's see how this comes out. Let's try it, worth a try. And sometimes the ones I don't like, they pick as well. So it's just how it is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do from here is I think I'm going to do just a, I'll use manicure top just for a sticky layer. I could use base, but base is a little thicker. I'm really going to add some coats, so I don't want it to go much thicker than I'm going to do it already. So make sure you cover the entire thing. And the reason why I'm doing this is I need a sticky layer up here when I start a glitter press. So I'm going to cure this 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to start with my champagne. Yeah, it's always lighter. I just want the color in the background, so... Let me put a little bit on here. It's so light. Okay, let's go into yellow. It 
And again, this is just my background I'm kind of creating. Let's go into orange. Let's go into yellow again. And into sand. I think I sand, I'm just going to kind of do this. Okay, I kind of like that because it's kind of soft. Okay, so let's cure this about 15 seconds. Now, I'm gonna use this brush I used earlier just for my glitter fade. So I'm gonna start right here. Glitter press it into this, there's a sticky layer. Go into my yellow, I'm gonna kind of overlap it. It's going to my, which was sunshine, now this is crush. into lava and then I'm going to blend them more once I have my colors on. See I'm kind of overlapping them and blending them in really well now. Oh, this is kind of cute. And let's use a little resolution. That's what we'll do. We'll finish it off with resolution because it'll kind of fade out. Yeah, that looks amazing. All right, so let's cure this like 30 seconds so it holds on to it really well. So what I'm gonna do here is go into Manicure Top and I wanted to keep this kind of like a sheer vibe right here. I just wanted it to have the colors in it, kind of like a sunset color. So that will cure for 30 seconds. Okay, let's kind of dust this off a little so I could kind of see what, my, what it's looking like. That kind of takes away. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It's just very neutral. Like they said, have a little vibe of it being kind of neutral or nudish with some vibe. Okay, this is my ultimate finish. This will be my last coat. I'm making sure I'm putting it on well everywhere. Okay, let's cure this for one final minute. Make sure it's not dripping anywhere. Okay, one final minute. Okay, so here's some of the looks I did. This is the first one, kind of to like replicate a macaw or something. I really didn't want it to be literal. I just wanted it to kind of have the effect. And I wouldn't do that on every nail. I would do this on a few nails and then I would probably create this color just kind of in different spots of it to kind of make that design go on for a full set. The next one I did was this one, which was a picture of a sunset that had all these colors in it, but I didn't want to make it like a sunset. I just wanted the vibe in it with the nude background. This is one of the colors in the palette. So it's just kind of a trendy kind of design. If I did a full set in these, they wouldn't be in the same spot. I would probably do one on this side, maybe one coming off here, maybe one big one on another. So it kind of gives you an idea of what we would do with the set. The third one I did was kind of like where beach water meets the sun and starting to set so i just kind of it's kind of a vibe a color vibe it has a little bit of glitter in it it is see-through on the top it is see-through on the top so that's kind of cool and it kind of fades down into like a metallic blue and it kind of lightens into the water it's kind of fun this one i kind of really like a lot it's really a color vibe i, I wanted it to look like kind of like bushes first i was going to do palm tree not really brush, brush bushes, but you know how they have shrub that kind of has a lot of those little layers in it. So I try to give it that vibe with a color palette they had on there. So it's not so literal like beachy or tropical. Now this one, this was just like a little glitter fade. Kind of, it's probably my least favorite one, but you know what? Sometimes they pick your least favorite ones. This one would be cool on a set, fading it different ways. Um, so those were my five takes. Um, remember they changed it on me here. I couldn't use green, purple. There's a lot of colors that were taken out of it. So my last three I designed, I was able to come up with these. So I feel like that's a pretty cool collection to offer. So I hope you had fun with this. 
it is challenging. You go through many different levels from really like, oh my God, what am I gonna do to this is fun to, oh my gosh, that color doesn't match. Let's mix more. It's super fun. Um, ever wanna do a fashion show or something like that or make um, moves for like filming or whatever you have in mind. This is kind of what you need to do and know. So have fun with it. So we were kind of reminiscing the other night about our different fashion shows we've done. And we've done it for different designers. Uh, we've done it for Fenty. We've done it for a couple different people. Yeah. And they're, it's all very similar and very Energy is the same, yeah. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of really highs and a lot of really, oh my God, lows, and I'm never doing this again, too. Yeah. Oh my God, that was awesome. I can't wait to do it again. Exactly, and, <laughs> and really what I sent Melissa is a small taste of it because yeah. usually what we'd get now after you sent this is you would ask, what would you like us to do? We'll let you know the day before the show. And then they come back and they go, oh, and by the way, we're no longer doing this one and we're not doing that color. And can you do these half the size? Yeah. And then you go and they go, but we want them longer. It's so true. It's such a rush. And how do we handle it? Yeah, for sure, we got no that, problem. we got that no color, problem. we got that, and we walk away like, what the heck, and we fix it. So we wanted to give you a little taste, a little adventure with Melissa and how a fashion week goes. Yes. Are you down? Are you guys gonna do it? They it's, are, it's, I think you should do it with me. You see how in the middle of it, I try something, I'm like, oh no, and I change it. That's yeah. literally what happens. I think you should try it. Try it? Get some inspiration. Remember, you're gonna have to put this on 75 different people, a couple different looks. You yes. have to keep it simple enough to be able to do the night before until six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Show up, put the nails on, and you're going. I know you can do it. Please hashtag us. Maybe do, let's let's do hashtag YN Fashion Week. Yes, Why that not? would be awesome. Yes. We wanna see your looks, see what you came up with. Yeah. Let's get creative. Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. To see more, go right over here. To subscribe to our channel, head right over here.